Cheers. Cheers. Here we are again. <laughs> to the one and only bar. <laughs> Yarn bar. That's still open. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Yeah, here we are again. Um, yep, here we are again. We are. And um, we've added someone to the mix. This is scary. Kathy. Hey, Kathy. Kathy's Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> Cheers. Yep. Yeah, so today we want to talk to you about another yarn that we have in the shop actually kathy's wearing it she's wearing she it she is wearing it a beautiful sweater beautifully she's wearing a sweater called vard vard, vard. okay so and vard. um we're and she's used rama phenol garn here's another which is a norwegian uh yarn that we love <laughs> That's better. <laughs> <laughs> but she's done a fine job with it, and it's been great. She said it was kind of challenging at the beginning no, because not challenging, but not just... challenging, but not like super exciting. No, but, no, borderline um, eye poking. Because <laughs> she did start bottom from the up, bottom, and bottom, then she had to do the sleeves from the bottom. On size what needle? Three. Three. So that's little. But, um, but then once she got to the yoke, you can see it's really pretty and it looks gorgeous with and her then hair. You and and oh, sorry. So she's gorgeous. Am I it, shedding? No, you're okay. not. I'm just, I'm saying, then you want to hurry up and finish it off. Yeah. Because it's mm -hmm. fantastic. Yeah. yeah, definitely one of the best yarns I've worked with. I think it's heirloom quality. I mm. really think it's going to last forever and it's something that you'll want to hand down. I agree because mm -hmm. I'm wearing one too. Yes, you are. But mine's just a lot different. Not Although, quite as um, much mine was intricate top down. color work. <laughs> uh, top down, yeah, not as much. And I paired it with, with a mohair. So to add a little bit of some kids silk but so but both phenol garn so it might be a crumb oh cookie crumb yeah <laughs> <laughs> i see a lot of those <laughs> so so the reason we're talking about phenol garn today too is because it is now fully loaded onto, onto website. our website yep available for online shopping for and anyone who is have, at home i think about more than 80 colors available so we have all of these nice, a lot of them are heathered, some are not, but we've got lots of variety in every color. It is really beautiful yarn. And these uh, heathers are really new to them, so we've yeah, new got a this lot from most them. of those. So these are all going to be great, and we're stocked up pretty so good. So it's a fingering to sport weight Norwegian wool. This is a, comp a Norwegian company, and uh, when I was in Norway at the fantastic yarn shops I visited, I was... It was wonderful to see uh, Phenol Garn and then to realize that also the Yarn Bar, our very own shop in Billings, Montana, has it. It's awesome, and we've had it since day one. We have. It was one of our uh, one of our one of our finds at our points. first yarn yep. market mm -hmm. at the first TNNA we went to. Um, and so it, the nice thing about Phenol Garn um, for any sort of color work is that. It's a nice sticky traditional yeah. wool that um, it may, it just, your color, you know, nothing's gonna slip off your needle. You don't have to worry about that. Um, it's just, it's a fantastic yarn. So and we are happy that it is now fully online. And then again, like we said yesterday in our video with DK weight hand dyed yarns, um, you can we're happy to send you photos of yarn combinations and things, colors, if you want to visualize it a little more, um, you know, than just clicking on a picture on a screen. So a few other projects, projects. is first we have, this is by Isolde Teague Design, knitted for us by Christy. Christy. And this is the phenol garn. Everything we're going to show you right now is phenol garn. So this is a beautiful mitten called Millet. They're pretty, aren't and they? It's got a pretty little. Yeah, that's cute at the end. Color work's a lot of fun there to do. And it's not as hard as you might, I mean, it might look. A lot of people, anyway. So that, yep. okay. That's pretty cute. <laughs> it's a little big for my hand. Yeah. These and are beautiful hats. Color this work. is one Again. of the Shetland Wool Week from a couple years ago called Busta Beanie. So look at that. So. Fantastic stranding. But it's the fun thing, you know, color work obviously is fun to play with color. So. Oh, and what's you this? You could do like a billion combinations. This is like a. The That's same the as. Matchy match. Nice. 
Very nice. The Vard hat. Yes. To go with the Whoa. sweater. That was noisy. What are they doing? I don't know. Okay. This is uh, a Shetland Wool Week from last year. Oh, two years ago. Called, uh, Mary, Mary Floors is, I believe, what this I one think, is called. Yeah. So most, I think, well, not every one of them, but a lot of the Shetland Wool Week annual patterns that come out towards the end of March. Yeah, that should be soon. Should be Actually, soon. Something to look forward to. to be soon. Um, a lot of them are done with fingering weight um, wool, and and stranded color work is. And it's right always actually there. somebody from that area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. From a local Shetland, yeah, uh, Shetland yes, designer. Yes. Yep. And then our favorite one currently that we have try one is, how do we pronounce it? Sag Sagastad. 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 So these mittens, and we talked about them the other day. There's a hat oh. on the floor. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait a minute. We're oh, talking yeah. about social distancing. Okay. So <laughs> There well, you we go. Can. We got mittens on. Mittens. <laughs> then we'll just then we can wash them, reblock, disinfect. But look at the cute little the houses. houses, and it's little named Norwegian after house. a village, right? Scandinavian houses. This one is. This one's not Trondheim. There's oh. a Trondheim pattern too oh. by the same designer. But the cool thing about this pattern is that it's one of the Mason March Dixon Mayhem. March Madness. Yeah. yeah, in the bracket. So vote for it, guys. Voting open today. Um, so we also were going crazy with color combo ideas for that because our phenol garn is over that. here oh, in the basket. Are. So we were going to... Here, Kathy, do you want to Yep. Okay, thanks. So color combos Oh, we, that we... Oh, yeah, our new to look at magazine. That. Okay, so let's oh, see. This one... Where's the gray? I think a gray. This, or this gray would be really pretty too with that. And then white. Oh, but then you need a Hello. third color. Don't you need four colors? Just a tiny Can smidge you throw it down for the. Here? Oh, here we go. Tiny smidge for the um the light in the windows. Oh yeah. This would be pretty in there too. You could pop. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. If you wanted to be a little more. Not, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Even this little pastel. But this is pretty. That is pretty. And then also a beautiful Swedish inspired blue yellow theme. Yeah, that would be really That's pretty. That's a classic. Let me take that out. Classic. What would Love you put it. as your fourth color? Well, actually, that's good. Or what about yeah. dark gray? Dark gray. And then here's the gray. Mitten color. Ooh. Here, and this then, would be cool with that. Oh, that'd be super fun. So you could, I mean, I think. Anyone with a little bit of imagination could think you could go super and even whimsical. If you don't, you can come in here yeah. and we can help you imagine the right. You can call us. We can give you all kinds of yes, ideas. Yes, we'll take pictures and send them to you. Phenol yeah. garns, heather combos. I mean, you could do beautiful heathered combinations. And any of those color combos from the Boosted Beanie, too, would be, be awfully great. pretty. Yeah. Pop in that. <laughs> mm, no, we're not grooving on that one. Too much crazy. I do like the red pop, but this is fun too. Oh yeah. Oh, oh pretty. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, yellow yeah, with yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, that'd be yeah, oh, okay. Go. Loving that yeah. one. That one's really good. I know. We should have everyone vote. Yeah. Um. Oh, we must really like that color because it's Oops, in there twice. Yeah. That's yeah, a great that's color. Fun. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Double the fun. And there's some heathers. So these are some new heathers. And I think we That's have a, a Heather solid, yeah. for that too. We do. Yep. So, yeah. Phenol Garn is good. And like, I mean, Linda's, that's not, I mean, you can visualize it too oh, yeah. as and a non-color work project. I did this a little different. So in the actual pattern, uh, it was a gray on the bottom. No, black on the bottom, white on type. That is not mm -hmm. me. So blue, green, Yep. Yep. mix it up a little so, bit do your own this thing this would have been pretty too what's the name of that pattern because this is called cedar point and it's a pattern by espas trico yeah it's a Ooh, it's a free yep, one from them Montreal. it's pretty um but but that gives you an idea you don't have to do color work with phenol garn we've but also had people it really do does um fair nice i mean it's like the best it's thing it's very traditional for color work it's perfect for it um, and any of these patterns that we have in the store, these lookbooks, we can get these patterns too. So, so phenol garn. Yep. Hooray. Yep. Hooray for that. 
And it's a good I can attest pattern. that the patterns are very easy, very well written, nothing surprising. That's good. good. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good to know. That is good. Yeah, that's perfect. It's a, we can't say enough good things about it. So yeah, easy to, the yarn's easy to locate on the website. Just, I just changed it up a little bit. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier for you to find. So <laughs> anyway, Yay. is that it? I think that is, unless we want to just say one, oh. give a little plug for a brand new magazine that's new to the shop. Making Stories is a German publication. There have been three issues released now. We got a couple of the first two but we have more of the third one that was just um officially for sale today Ooh. so and Ooh. there's beautiful Ooh. patterns um Ooh. there's an our article friend, our friend shelly um asked us to get this magazine because she'd been seeing it and so we tracked it down and it's here in the shop um and there's happy a to pop one in the mail for you a little essay in here by um gail Gillespie, who is Gigi made it on Instagram. So did we just walk by yeah. it? Yeah. Her favorite color is orange. Yeah. <laughs> Which I will tell you, we're getting some of her orange in pretty oh, soon yeah. from Madeline Tash. So yeah. So anyway, that's just a little tiny um, heads up that that magazine is now available at your local yarn shop in Billings, Montana. And don't forget, if you want something that you see just call us or check our website but we will deliver to you we'll deliver curbside delivery. in our car we'll come to your house we'll throw it on your doorstep we won't throw it we'll place it gently and gingerly on your doorstep mm -hmm. and then if you want you can call ahead and we'll run it out to you in your car yep we've so done that a couple times today so we that's working everybody we, to everyone stay not, safe yeah we don't want stay you guys safe. too stressed out so and keep, keep knitting. stitching yeah. away it's it's a good thing to do and don't get too much cabin fever <laughs> we're gonna be ready when we're ready. <laughs> all right hopefully the spring spring's coming so yay thanks everybody thanks thanks kathy bye bye, bye. bye.